Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age on the PC. Last time, we continued through the Fortress of Fear, and we got ourselves uh, several new recipes, which at the end of the episode we made, and it was awesome because we're awesome now, and it's great, and I love it. So let's go ahead and uh, start putting some of those on. Uh, real fast, though, uh, I've got a couple things that I'm going to sell, because well, there's a couple things that we don't need anymore. Uh, primarily, let's see, I, I made these... Uh, reflecting stuff, but frankly we don't need them. And, eh, oh well. Uh, I'm going to sell the extra warrior princess's dress because I messed up on my second time, or on my reforging attempt, and it just got from plus one to plus two, so I said fuck it, and remade it entirely, and it came out as plus three, so warrior princess's dress, we'll get rid of one of you. There we go. Uh, and I think the rest I'm not terribly worried about getting rid of, but let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and equip up. All right, so Soul Metal Great Sword is going to be upgraded into a. Actually, real fast. Uh, Soul, you're going to go from a Metal Great Sword, wherever it went. Okay, so 441 to 468. Yeah, it's a small upgrade. I'm okay with this. Uh, should I give you something, Papillon Mask? Um, I would lose the Magical Might and Mending, that's the main problem with that. Uh, Hades Helm, 42 defense. I would lose the Magical Might and Mending, but the Hades Helm has... Not quite what I was thinking. I thought it had um, Dark Damage Reduction, and that would have been nice. Uh, I'm tempted to pop on one of these uh, metal slime helms, but I think we're I think we're good with what we got. Yeah, Papillon mask, fine. Uh, let's see, Wolf Dragon armor, fire and light damage reduction. That's nice. Uh, but since I don't have anything else to put on, we're gonna go ahead and give you uh, a couple. Where are they at? Devil's tails, because we really want to reduce dark damage uh, for the next couple boss fights as much as possible. And so Devil's Tails will do that rather well. So that'll end up being like 60% um, damage reduction. Uh, I could put you on... Yeah, I could put this on instead of the... The current armor we have on. It'd be good for the elemental damage reduction again. I'm tempted. We lose some defense. And... 85 versus 60, so it was 25 points, but we get an extra 18% damage reduction. Uh, I think I'll just, I think I think I'll just take it for now. Yeah, it's just gonna be worth it. Hendrick, uh, let's see, you have fire and ice damage reduction. Uh, you'll be good on your bad axe for now. Shame there's no liquid metal axes or anything like that. Uh, do I want to change out your? Brain Drainer, that gives 10% elemental damage reduction, that gives 7... I could upgrade that, but the main problem is... Less block chance. Oh, this already has 10% damage reduction on the, uh... Oh, never mind, I was going to the Brain Drainer. Um, yeah, less block chance. I think I might want to rework this. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that, but, uh... That gives 10, and less overall. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to have to remake that uh, brain drainer real fast. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but real fast, through before I forget, uh, liquid metal helm, that's good for right now. And instead of the metal slime armor, 15% damage, or er, elemental damage, we got ourselves a general's jacket plus 3, Dark damage reduced by 25%, and other than that, yeah, pretty good overall, so worth it. And then instead of the Archangel's boots, we're going to pop on a pair of those uh, snazzy new General's Jack boots. Nice. Okay. I can deal with that. And if we check out our shiny new outfit there, we are the General. Nice. Got that dress look going on there. 
Uh, let's see. And instead of the Archangel boots, we're going to give you a... Devil's Tail. Okay, so that would be 30. Uh, that would be 55. And then if I put on the other shield, that would be 65. So still pretty good. Honestly, Hendrick might be fine without it. Yeah, Hendrick might be fine without the... Uh, without the extra thing, but I'll go ahead and just make it anyways, just to ease my suspicions there. Uh, Eric, I don't think you're going to be in the fight. It's probably going to be uh, Serena and Jade, so we're going to worry about them. Let's see, so Serena, you're fine right there. Goddess Tiara, that gives instant death. That gives dark damage reduction on the Saintist dress. Uh, instead of that, we're going to give you a Devil's Tail. And instead of the safety goggles, we're going to give you another Devil's Tail, if I can find it. Where do these things go? I don't have them. Why are they so hard to find? I don't have like eight of them. There we go. So that's 30, 60, and then... That's 80% damage reduction, uh, dark damage reduction for you, so that's real nice. And then Jade, Metal Slime Spear, we're going to give you a... How about a... Liquid Metal Spear gives you an extra 15 attack and another percent on the parry. Awesome. And instead of that Peplon Mask, we got yourself a Warrior Princess's Headband. Nice. Okay. Uh, we lose the Magical Might, but I really don't care. Oh, and uh, let's just go ahead and Warrior Princess, because that's what we got going on right there. Looking nice, looking nice. Honestly, both of these are really nice. I think I prefer the red one right here a little more. But I think I prefer the swimmer the most. But no, Warrior Princess, Warrior Princess looks pretty nice too. I like it. And then instead of the Queen's Robe, which does have good elemental damage reduction, uh, we're gonna have the Warrior Princess. Yeah, we're gonna lose the uh, the damage, uh, the dark damage reduction, but we're just gonna have to survive. And then you'll have a Devil's Tail as well. So you're gonna end up with. Hmm, Defense, crit, agility, 78, 1, 27. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep you on the... Let's see. We lose 18 points of defense. We gain the 1% crit. We lose the agility, which I'm not terribly worried about. And we lose the charm. I think for the, I think for the fight coming up... Uh, the Queen's Robe might be better just for the extra dark damage reduction, because with this, yeah, because with the Queen's Robe and then the uh, Devil's Tail, that would be about 50% right there, whereas without it, it's only about 30%. So, yeah, I think for now, yeah, we'll put, we'll put her back on her new stuff later. But for now, that's going to have to do with it. And then, Savando, you have an extra Angel's Tail around here somewhere, for, or Devil's Tail for you around here somewhere. There we go, just in case you do come in for anything. Um, how many extras... How many extra Devil Tails do I actually have? I might have a couple. Uh, let's see, I have one extra. I forget if I can actually make those yet. I don't think I can. No. Okay. Yeah, we can't make them. Um, the only other thing that we can make that reduces dark damage is... Where is it? I think it's like... Uh... No, not in there. Gumi Gloves. And that's only 15%, so that's not really worth it that much, sadly. Alright, yeah, let's rework that, uh... When I can find it. Hmm. Brain Drainer. Yeah, notice how this thing sells for 20,000? Uh, these are the ones that we're gonna be able to be, uh... <clears throat> finding and... Uh... Finding and stealing from, or stealing from enemies later on. 
and we'll be able to sell those for lots of money because when you forge it up to plus three, it ends up at a solid 30,000 sell price. So it's pretty freaking nice. And they're only a three-star difficulty, so they're not the they're not the hardest to, to get ready either. You bastard! Get crit. Okay. Uh, not my preferred thing going on here, but let's do this. Um. Hmm. Let's do a Master Stroke, and then we'll hope for Multi Bash goodness. Not quite. Okay. That should be plus three right there. Awesome. Good. It's, again, not, not as much block chance, but I think we'll survive. Especially since it adds the extra elemental damage there that we care about. And we still have to get through a bit more of the fortress, but for the most part, we are on the path to success here. I think we're mostly good. All right, uh, Hendrik, instead of the Ogre Shield, yeah, you're going to be rocking that uh, Brain Drainer that sells for 32000 Sorry, I thought I said thirty, but uh, not quite. It looks pretty cool, too. I like the way it looks. All right, so that is 10%, 35, 65%. Okay, so 65% uh, elemental damage reduction right there. It's not too shabby. I don't think we have anything else that would be elemental damage reduction, sadly. Okay, cool. Uh, and then, Rab, I'm going to give you my current extra Devil's Tail, just in case we need it for anything. Alright, so you got your Devil's Tail, you're good to go. Yeah, you're gonna be barely even touched by the, uh... by the Dark Attacks, because you're at, uh, 78% damage reduction there. Hendrick, you're doing pretty good. Eric, we don't really care at the moment. Rab, don't care. Serena, uh, that's 60, and then plus I think the Saint Distress was... yeah, another 80% right there. So, yeah, you're good on that. Savando, you're doing okay, I guess. And Jade, yeah, you're also doing uh, about 50% right there, so not too bad. Alright, cool. Now our goal is to get back to the fortress there. So I'll probably just, yeah, I think I think I'll just uh, get there off screen. That way you don't guys, you guys don't have to, you guys don't have to suffer. So I'll be right back. All right, Eric gets another level. Nice. I think we can grab something for you there of the extra dodge chance variety. Sure. That makes you more of a evasion tank. Not really, but, you know, still. All right, I'll see you guys when I get further up or a level. All right, I don't think we went into this room yet, so the fortress is here. Uh, level four, the other side of this door from that big circle room. So let's go. And I think these, yeah, these like little side teleporters will eventually take us back to those areas that we couldn't get to earlier in the level on the same floor, I think. Or at least pretty close to it. Let's see where we at. Yeah, okay, so that works. Um, hmm. You're going to go outside. And I'm going to do my best to ignore you guys, uh, unless I really need a level. Uh, Serena is very close, and frankly, she's my lowest one. But if I find if I find a uh, another liquid metal slime or another king slime or something, then I'll start thinking about it. But for now, I'm not terribly concerned. All right, uh, you go. Where do you go? Oh, one of one of these is going to unlock that door at the. Yeah, I think we have to go through both of these, and this will eventually unlock that door at the uh, bottom. But first, we make a path to the area that's going to unlock the door. I, I keep thinking one of these has a switch or a chest behind it, but uh, apparently not. I'm going to do my best to ignore you, but uh, yeah. Bye. Hello, Mr. Treasure Chest of the Poker. Yeah, that's the uh, one for... That's the one where it, like never like uh, it can't be evaded or something like that. So let's see. 
Attacks cannot be blocked or parried by enemies. Okay, so it might still be able to be evaded. I'm not sure about that, but uh, yeah, not too shabby. I can't remember if this ever upgrades. Let me check. Well, yes, it does upgrade into the best spear, uh, the best spear in the game, uh, attack power wise. Uh, you could use this instead of the liquid metal spear for the unblockable stuff, but frankly, uh, let's see, it's slightly weaker. Not not a whole lot, uh, 13 points, but. Frankly, I think I'll survive with the liquid metal spear. Uh, I, I guess the charm helps too. But dang it, I just made my I just made my liquid metal spear, and I'm not trying to give it up yet. I mean, we might use the we might pop the poker on in the uh, battle against uh, uh, the peoples coming up, Mortigan, and then I'm sure you know who else we're gonna have to be fighting pretty soon. But until then, I think I'm happy with my current setup for the moment here. Yeah, the next couple, the next couple fights coming up. There are two, but technically three. Or no, there are okay. There are three, but technically two. I guess we should say um, they're not going to be pushovers. So you want to be prepared. Honestly, if you want to grind out another uh, electrolyte to get that next couple level, or the next level or so for Serena or something like that, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, Serena could really use another level or two here, but I think for the most part we will survive. And I will ignore these bastards. Um, yeah, that's a lot of you guys, and frankly, I want to not be a part of it. This guy let's not get hit by his tail. Thank you. Yeah, getting hit by that tail end is uh, no fun. Alright, that's what I came here for. Another path forward. That's the one, and we need one more. Nope, no treasure chest. I like to think there is, but usually there's not. That's a shame. I'm trying to decide if I want to actually fight that bastard or not. I mean, I probably don't, but... I was gonna go for Peep, but I messed up. Ooh, Stardust Sword. That's actually a pretty decent little sword, if I remember correctly. I mean, I'm not gonna use it myself, but... Yeah, I think this upgrades into... One of the better swords, uh, one-handed swords. Let me see real fast. Yeah, it's basically another ultimate weapon. Uh, it will be. I don't know. If, I don't know if outclassed by the. I like the sword of light or whatever. Um, guess spoiler alert. We're gonna be able to upgrade the sword of light at some point. Uh, it'll be pretty much equal to the sword of light when it upgrades, minus like a few things. Also, it has the property of potentially lowering the enemy's defense when you attack with it, so that's not too shabby. It starts out at 8%, but then at the maximum level, uh, when it's finally upgraded, it's like 24% per hit, so it's really nice, actually. But for the moment, so I'm not going to be bothering with it. Do I, do I care about this guy at all? He doesn't have anything I really care about, does he? Um, those are just the rares that I'm not worried about. Oh, wow, we found everything here so far, except for the rares. Nice. Uh, let's see, Great Dragon, did he have anything I cared about? Dragon Hide, Staff of Resurrection. By the way, that only casts, uh, Zing. And the stat-wise, I'm pretty, I'm reasonably sure it's pretty good, but, uh, for the moment, I'm not terribly worried about it. Yeah, stats-wise, it's pretty good, but it casts Zing, not, uh, Ka-Zing, sadly. So, oh well. Eric, let me check something here real fast. I'm pretty sure your nose for treasure is counting everything on the fourth floor, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's counting everything on the fourth floor. I think that should be coming up in one of these areas to the side here. I've been much more thorough about exploring this area than I was in the previous, or the battleground, so we should be good and not missing anything at the moment. Ah, uh, I'm not missing you, that's for damn sure. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to fight these bastards. Mm. 
Cursed my fooly aptitude. Yeah. Stay alert. Yeah, let's do that. And then... Do I want... Do I want Eric or do I want Jade? I think I want Jade. Yeah. That works. Alright. There's no need for that, you rat bastards. Okay, fine. Fine. Alright, uh, let's try... Got a fatal on everybody and see how that does. Pretty good. Ooh, and they put somebody to sleep. Nice. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. Uh, let's go for that uh, triple or triple sap and go for the uh, echo. No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, scrap metal on Mr. Dragon. All right, defense goes down. We get wrecked. Uh, snooze everybody if this works, that'd be freaking fantastic. Okay, the dragon went down. That's glorious. Um, we need to multi-thrust. Actually, you know what? Let's just do a hip drop on Hiddle Center B and hope that the other guys don't wake up. Good stuff. Alright, Hendrick, excellent chance for you to use that safety stone. If we hadn't knocked out the the hero right at the start of the, the fight, we would have been a little better off there. There we go. Much better. Perfect. Alright. Uh, we are going to temporarily switch out Hendrick for Eric Hero fast. And Eric will be more than happy to collaborate the dragon there. Uh, but for now, we're going to multi thrust on the hunter goons. Get them out of the way. I don't care if the other guy wakes up, that's fine. Uh, let's see. You. We're going to Giga Smash the hunters again. Get wrecked. Um, dazzle is for a group. Uh, I will dazzle the dragon over the uh, hunters. Perfect. Yes, yeah. See, I liked how I liked how her revive spell smart cast, but all of her all of her other spells don't seem to be doing the same thing, which is a real shame. Like if that said, oh look, the dragon got uh, dazzled. Let's move on to the next. Uh, group of enemies. That'd be fantastic, but did not do that, and I'm sad. Alright, you're still asleep. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, um... You... Will hip drop take out Hiddles Hunter? Hopefully. Not quite. Alright, uh... Let's see, let's go ahead and... Keep the saps up just to be on the safe side here. And miss the dragon. Oh well. Hit bump is very cheap up. Wow, 2 MP. That's pretty freaking great. Eric, uh. Okay, his defense is still at the minimum there, so we're good. Uh, persecution. Go. 720. Not enough to kill, but close. Alright, uh, hero. We could put on the, the worm thing, but I think the extra damage of the liquid metal sword would basically make it about the same and kind of evil. Why you gotta be so evil for it, game? Uh, let's see, we want to find my heal and go for Jade. Oh, where's those crits? Ooh. The attack went down even more. Actually, his attack never went down in the first place. He just missing a lot. Uh, how does hit drop you on you? 205. Nice. I'm okay with that. Not bad at all. 
Alright there. Wonderful. Mr. Dragon. Oh, Serena, you got a level nice. And we can actually use your uh your holier oh, your hymns now. There we go. That adds a flat 10% to the uh, hymns right here, and the hymns start off at 20%. So that ma that goes from that makes it go from 20% to 30%. So not too bad, not too bad at all. The way into the heart of the Fortress of Fear is now open. Awesome. However, we still have a couple other areas to go check out here. Primarily the other side. And... Yeah, we want... Uh, let's see, we want to go over there. And then we want to go downstairs. And then some other stuff. And you guys are not guarding over there, that's fine. I don't want to fight both of you, you bastards. Why? I don't ask for much, game. Just for respect. Okay, uh, Mountain Mover, Mover. gets some damage here. He does have one more tier of that uh, spell. I think he gets at like level 60 or something like that, so it's a little ways away, but... Uh, let's go Giga Smash. 288. 276. Not bad. Alright, uh, how do you guys like the Pink Typhoon? Not as much as I like. That kind of hurts, but not too bad. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and pop a Hymn of Fire. That way they don't do any more of that. You want to leave my healer alone there, thanks? Alright, so let's try Femme Fatale. Okay, almost, almost 300. That's worth it. Eric, uh, we're going to do our best to Cobra Strike uh, Mr. A guy here. Not quite. He blocked it. Fair enough. I like the part where she was off screen when she died. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Uh, here, take a uh, sword dance. Now you refuse to poison these bastards, huh? I'm on fire! Alright, you're all pepped up. Fantastic, I love it. And let's go some more Femme Fatale. Hello there. <laughs> nice. That worked out pretty good. Some enemies are more resistant Easy. to that than others. Let's see, eight skill points for Mr. Savando. Uh, let's go for that uh, metal slash, I guess, man. Not that we're using it very often, but hey, it's there. Uh, Executioner for those two. Nice. And Miracle Slash, which does not recover that much, sadly. Alright, you guys are hiding, I think, another... Yeah, you guys are hiding another button. There we go. I think this unlocks the one on the bottom floor, finally. Yeah. Took a while to unlock that one. Nope, no treasure chest. Alright. Let's go ahead and head to that bottom area and see what the heck they were hiding down there, because they were hiding something. Mm. Alright, we don't need you. I think it's mostly a clear shot on the way up. Yeah, we just have to kill these guys, and that's yeah, mostly a clear shot here. Cool. Let's try not to hit everybody else. This is actually a really nice source of these gems right here. Once you break all the, uh... Once you break all the floors, you get... One of every gem, except for maybe, like, one of them, I think. Hello? A meteorite bracer. That's a pretty decent accessory. Uh, at level 1, it gives you 100 agility. At level 3, it gives you 200 agility. So, not too shabby. You pop that on somebody like Hendrick or something, 
Ooh, they will actually be able to get a couple turns. Let's see. Magic, Eric. Okay. I think that might have been it, actually. I think, I think... I'm not sure if it was going by floor or if it was going by just the entire dungeon, but... Uh, when you get, if we get back up to the fourth floor, we'll check and see what, what it says about the right, bastard right. on the right-hand side. Uh, Jade, we're going to put you into the back for a few minutes. Let Sylvando uh, get pepped up and uh, go from there. Alright, uh, let's see... Can we... I don't think we can put the overkilling machine to sleep, but I can try. Yeah, I was trying, but... I was trying and I was failing. Here, I got money to spare. Yeah. Yeah, gold rush is worth it if you are too rich to care. Which occasionally I am. Uh, not always. Uh, dazzle you. Now. Yes. You still missed. Victory! That guy didn't even try that time, and I'm okay with this. How are we? Oh, we can't uh, check our stats right now, or our stuff right now. That's a shame. Uh, we could go after the, uh, the sparkly spots, but I'm not really worried about it, so... Oh, well. Tough. Deal with it. I think we need to go this way, actually. Yeah, I think this is the way out. Yes, it is. Alright, I think we have everything. Let me check here. No, there's still one piece. Hang on. Let me look for that, because I'm not sure where it's at. I legitimately have no idea what I missed, because I looked at the item list that I'm looking at here. And according to that, I have everything. I mean, I have all the important stuff, the recipes, the, uh, the uh, swords and whatnot, so... Unless they hid something somewhere and I just don't know where the frick it went, I have no idea. Oh, it's right frickin' here. There we go. Is that new? No, Force Ages Elixir, that's nice. That's actually awesome. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and heal up here because I'm reasonably certain that the boss is on the other side of that door. So, yeah, let's do this. Alright, everybody is pretty close to full. If they're not 100% full, then they're within minutes of it, so... Alright, that should be good right there. We are fully healed up on... You know what? I don't know if this is even going to work, but... Uh... Okay, we can't use it out here. Fair enough. Uh, do I have... There we go. Okay, everybody is tip-top shape right there. Uh, everybody's items are set. Okay, uh, we want to go ahead with our lineup here. And we want to switch out you for you, and you for you, and you for you. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Alright, let's go through and see what happens. S 
Serena? You're both here. Oh, thank heavens. I've been so lonely in this horrible, cold, miserable place all by myself. Now you're here, can I ask you something? Can I ask you to die? You'll do that for me, won't you? I mean, I had to die and you didn't. That can't be fair, can it? So come on, what do you say? Will you die for me or not? I wanted to live, but because of you, I couldn't. So let's even things up. Come on, drop dead! Phantom, dark intrusion, light dispel this black illusion. Veronica would never have said such awful things. Go on, be off with you. She didn't regret a thing. I know she didn't. She died with hope in her heart. Hope that we would bring back the light. Uh, hmm. This is your doing. I sense it. Jasper, show yourself! <laughs> Still, you speak of hope? Of light? Even now, with one of your little band beyond saving, your faith is sickening. <laughs> My dear Hendrik, Still you cling stubbornly to life. You never did know when to give up. Yet another virtue to despise in you. You come here seeking an audience with my master, I suppose. Well, I am afraid I shall have to disappoint you. I would ask you to leave politely. But we both know you are too pig-headed to listen, and besides, I would not want your journey to have been in vain. upon me and despair, Hendrik. I have surpassed you at last. Fool, you have surpassed me in wickedness and naught else. Bold words indeed, but you will pay for them with your life. I shall offer up your broken bodies in tribute to almighty Mordigan. Jasper Unbound draws near. And we knew that wasn't so, uh, Veronica. Veronica doesn't know how to cry. She's too she's too pig-headed. <laughs> I've surpassed you, Hendrick. Now kneel before me. And yes, I shall despair because now you're apparently a furry. Or a scaly. I'm not sure which is worse, but uh, they're about the same. So, uh, not great. Okay, so... I think he will occasionally undo our buffs. So, that's actually a reasonably good idea to buff up. At least one person, because he will have to waste time doing that to, you know, <laughs> make it so that uh, he wastes one of his two actions per turn. And yeah, he'll occasionally summon a Balheeb, 
Uh, luckily, he is uh, kind of kind of prone to just sit in there and define. Like he just sits there and like laughs or chuckles for a few minutes, or like a turn every once in a while. So every once in a while, you would just randomly uh, just not have to deal with his shit right there, and it's pretty nice. All right, we're gonna try to sap everybody. But yeah, uh, the vast majority of his attacks are of the dark variety. So it's not a it's a pretty good idea to have all that dark resistance that we have, and it makes your life much easier. All right, uh, multi thrust Belhi gets you pretty close to dead. Yeah, destructive wave that gets rid of our buff. So it's a good thing I didn't decide to do a second buff there. Hmm. Not entirely sure if that counts as a breath attack. I wasn't paying enough attention, but it might count as a breath attack. But even if it did, he's going to disrupt our buffs anyway, so basically our goal right now is just to stay healed up. So scrap the metal, try to get that hit down. It will happen, it's just, um, it's not the easiest to stick on this fight or the next fight. Like, ooh, no, ex no MP and a double cast. Ooh, I love that. I have surpassed you. Maybe, not really. And there's a turn <laughs> skip right there. But yeah, every once in a while he'll just do this. <coughs> he'll just sit there and kind of chuckle or something, so I'm okay with that happening because it makes my life easier. Did I ever put the right... Okay, you are on the... I wasn't sure if you were actually on the, uh, the new sword or not, but... You know. 367, not too shabby. Uh, can I get the sap to stick? No. You shall not prevail. If I don't get it in the next like attempt or so, I'll just give up and uh, not worry about it. Okay, that works, I guess. I right, luckily we have those Yggdrasil leaves, so we're good to go. Yeah, I think that Silver Wind is one of the very few attacks of his that isn't just pure Dark Element. Um, yeah, let's just go with that uh, multi-heal again. There we go. Alright, if I don't get it on this turn, I'll just ignore it and just go for the other damages. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really can't tell if that's going to be considered a breath attack or not. It might, but I'm not sure. Alright, Jasper, you're no longer pepped. That's fine. Yeah, reducing all the... Ooh, yeah, we definitely did slightly more damage with the... Uh, we definitely did more damage with the... Sword stance there. Alright, uh, let's go with the, another revamp. That way he'll uh, occasionally, potentially waste that turn trying to get rid of that. One more scrap metal. Can you even do it? Ah, you bastard. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Okay. Get crit. I love it. 700. Thank you for wasting your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. Could be more damage if we weren't uh, more prepared here. Yeah, basically you're just gonna be sitting here and doing your best to... Uh, not be bored by his attacks that aren't doing as much as he would like to think they are. Yeah, if you don't have the uh, dark protection, you'll be taking a lot more damage. And, uh, it's not fun, but we are set for now. Oh, yep. Up, go. Not that we have anything there. Um, I know I keep saying it, but one more attempt on the scrap metal. Nah, he's just not going to go for it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, in that case, uh, let's go for that parallax. And you missed, you rat bastard. You <laughs> suck. Yeah, we missed another one. Alright, he's gonna waste a turn getting rid of Jade's buff there. Uh, if you have buffs on everybody, that will actually um, get rid of the buffs on everybody, not just the person. But we only have it on the one person because, frankly, it's not worth our time to try to re-pop it there. 
Uh, I don't know. I hope this works. Dazzle what? stick. Let's try now. Okay, that was a reasonably really decent little attack right there. All right. Uh, let's go with a more heal on the hero there. Fine, we're good to go. Uh, Jade, let's go ahead and revamp again. Perfect. Alright, try not to uh, miss this time, Hendrick. Did that? I'm not entirely sure, but his disruptive wave might have gotten rid of Hendrick's pep. I didn't know it would do that. That's kind of bullshit. Like a okay. I have surpassed you. Yeah, you keep saying that, and you just stand there and chuckling like a half-naked guy. You cannot defeat me. We can, and we will. Ah, I didn't mean to revamp again. I was gonna go multi-thrust, but well, if he doesn't uh, disrupt the wave, uh, he's gonna have. She's gonna have a. Nice attack for the next one. Oh uh, yeah, we don't care about that right now. We care about the Swords Dance. Let's go. Yeah, that's the one. 677. Alright, uh, we need a multi-heal. Potentially of the Echoing variety. Ah, no, we're, we're fine without the Echo. That's fine. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, cool. We will get ourselves another multi-thrust here. Awesome, this will be rather well. 600. Nice. Not the worst. Ah, you bastard. Yeah, that gets rid of fucking Pep. That is some bullshit game, you fucking know it. Like, I don't mind if it gets rid of you know, the burps. <clears throat> and the, uh, the stuff that we manually set up. But if it gets rid of the pep power. That's some bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm reasonably sure he can be affected, but he is extremely resistant to you know, all, the all the debuffs. So, that's a shame. Get crit. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Uh, G8, let's go ahead and get your Uncle Hendrick back up. My thanks. You're welcome. Alright. And keep up the uh, sword dancing here. He's not too far off. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And a solid 40,000 experience. Jade okay, gets a level. Neat. Rab gets another level. Let's use those skill points. Alright, uh, so Jade, we want you on that healthy goodness right there. That would have been helpful for the fight, but it's not completely necessary. And, okay, we'll worry about Miracle Moon later. Rab, Robert, whatever. Yeah, we have enough, we have enough for that maximum MP. Let's go. There we go. How? <sighs> I am first among demons, supreme commander of the Spectral Sentinels. How could mere humans defeat me? Again, you surpass me. Again, you outdo me. Again, you... You leave me behind! Hmm. The more you bathed in glory, the more brightly you shone, the more I receded into shadow. Do you know what it was that I always wanted? I wanted to be like you.
come. And another orb, which we don't get powers for having. Yeah, we don't get we don't get any cool powers for having the orbs or anything like that. Oh well. Ooh, and that was uh, nice enough to heal us up. Awesome. And I think yeah, if we go forward, that's basically gonna be uh like the next boss. So uh, we are gonna be making sure that I don't need anything else in here. Okay, we need Yggdrasilly for you, so let's uh, transfer that to Young Soul. There we go. All right, uh, let's see. Hendrick, you got everything you need. Good stuff, Jade. You need a, you need a leaf. And okay, good. So that's pretty much all that we need right there is another leaf for that. And there we go. All right, we have uh, gone through the Fortress of Fear. We've gotten everything we could out of there. We've taken care of Jasper in his new and improved, supposedly, form. And next episode, we will go through that door and take on Mortigan himself, hopefully. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. We stop staring at people. See you guys next time.